If you're new to the AR-15 uh, or you've just gotten one recently, uh, I want to pass along kind of a little tip that I've uh, learned along the way. It's on reinstalling the cotter pin here that holds the firing pin in place. Now, uh, I got uh, this first kind of what I'll call a, a mini, mini mini tip was kind of buried in another video from someone else called Mr. Guns and Gear, so I want to go ahead and give him a little shout out. Uh, but the reason that this is so critical, and by the way, you should have a spare, uh, without this cotter pin, which holds the firing pin in place, you're going nowhere. Uh, so what I found is that the orientation of this pin when you're trying to reinsert it, uh, as well as how to visually inspect it, makes all the difference between it being a major pain in the butt and it going in just fine. Uh, now I'm going to leave all these components outside of it, so hopefully uh, when I change the camera angle, we can get, get a little bit better light. But if you're not familiar with, with cotter pins or this type of pin, there naturally should be a very slight gap, as hopefully you can kind of see in there. Okay, but over time, or if you have a bad one, that gap might open up. And when it does, it doesn't want to pass all the way through your, your bolt carrier group. It will go through the first hole, but then get stuck on the inside of the second one. And no matter how hard you push, it's not going to go in. But getting the proper alignment of the pin, as well as when you look inside, knowing where to look, will make all the difference uh, between it going in just fine and being a major pain in the butt. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, change the ca camera angle, and we'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. I've already started uh, the cotter pin and reinserted it into the first hole. And now we're talking about alignment. So I want to kind of show you here how I have this aligned. This is not how it should be aligned. I wanted to line it up incorrectly at first. What it should be is rotated this way. And I'm going to move the camera in just a moment, or actually move the piece. So you can kind of see this is how it should be aligned. And the reason being is that if I push down on this a little bit, I will actually line it up to go all the way across. If it's in this position and I push down, uh, it most likely will not be aligned correctly. So I recommend that you turn it this direction so that when you push down and in, it will be lined up. But there is one other part uh, to the alignment that you really need to see. So I'm going to change the camera angle one more time so we can kind of look down inside uh, to see what's going on in there for that final lineup. Okay, I have the pin about 80% of the way in, and what I want to do is I want to wiggle it a little bit just to demonstrate how easily it is to get it misaligned. Uh, as you're pushing that thing in, and you think, well, I've got it perfectly lined up. If you look down at the end of the tube, you can see me wiggling that pin around. Uh, that's how easy it is not to get it lined up. It's actually very difficult, but, uh, if, uh, but by looking down that tube, uh, in addition to having it lined up, you know, kind of in the ballpark as we already did, now you can actually see what you're trying to insert it to. And that is the key. Nobody told me, oh yeah, look down to the end to make sure that it's traveling straight across and you can actually see that pin move around in there. Uh, that's exactly what you should do. And that's the difference between this being no big deal and suddenly being a major pain in the butt and you can't go to the range or get your rifle back together. So. That is my mini tip of the day on reinserting the counter pin on the AR-15 bolt carrier group. Thank you and be prepared.